So, oh, by the way, I'm gonna show you how to partial take uh, a trade on MT4. So, since we this is one of my my strategy on doing a trade, no? Uh, kaya nagkaroon nito ng dalawa. So, this in this area, ito na yung kukunin ko muna yung I have to put aside a certain amount on my on my account bago itutuloy yung trade. So, it's a safety precautions but uh, although liliit ang kita but then mas as, uh, as others say, the trading is not a sprint. It is a marathon. So, ito, uh, magpa-partial uh, take ako. Magpa-partial take ako. So, here's what I'm going to do. So, ang trade size ko kanina was uh, 0 0.07 ngayon magpa-partial take ako ng 0 0.04. And the rest of it, uh, I plan to make this a swing trade. So, at least meron nang nailagay sa ating banko, sa ating account. Ayun. So... 0 0.04 ADST so titingnan natin at mapapansin mo kanina that was 27 at ngayon 11 dollars na lang but patuloy pa rin siya no, patuloy pa rin siya so if we are going to look, take a look on our account history ayan uh, ito yung pinakabago 0 0.04 at uh, nagpartial tayo kumuha tayo ng 50 dollars from that so talo natin kanina 21 20 tapos kumita tayo ng uh, 15 ngayon so konti na lang so that's it uh, that's how you do the partial partial tawag ito partial partial take profit ano ba yan? naantok pa ako just ko tagal yan po maraming salamat kanina madilang araw as I have to put trade and based on the strategy that we had and of course the system which is the head and shoulders and the strategy was the enhanced version of entry point ang nangyari is uh, nag lost trade ito po yan ito po siya so <clears throat> I stated here specifically na pangalawang beses na ito nangyari the first one is June yeah and if uh Totoo ito na nagre-reverse, then this will be the second time. But uh, the good news is, the good news is, ang nangyari po talaga is hindi pa pala, nag test pa pala siya. So, ito na ngayon ang, ang resulta because I, I took a trade again. No? Kasi tinamaan yung unang stop loss, yung unang trade ko, which is I lost. Makikita po natin yan sa account history natin. Yan, $20 tinalo ko dyan. No? Uh, ngayon, gumawa na naman ako ng trade, which is eto na. So, patuloy pa po. And as what I have seen, the reason na din, the reason din na nag-re-entry ako nito, and using the same strategy po sir ha, uh, wala po akong binago, same pa rin uh, the enhanced version of strategy kasi kwan pa rin siya eh, uh, applicable pa rin siya however the reason ako nag re-enter kasi po nakita ko po sa one of my journals kaya napaka importante po talaga mag journal that uh, on lot of times already 
ang AUDUSD natatalo ako pag uh, nagre-retest sila. I I really don't know why but these are just my observation on based on my journal. So on AUDUSD natatalo po ako and here it is. So this is one nakuha ko, nakunan ko ng pick not just on writings but meron akong nakuha na save na picture regarding AUDUSD. This was on December pa nga pala oh, November. So, papapansin mo, trade ko pa baba, bumaba nga siya, but pero nagpakyat pa, mag-retest pa. Retesting the high. So, ito, this is something that we have to look, take a look since uh, uh, ano ang magandang sistema na nagagawin in regards with AUDUSD. But I'm not, I'm not gonna change my strategy uh, still, ganun pa rin, the enhanced version of, of entry point is uh, ipapatuloy ko. Then, in regards naman sa mga ating trade plan, eh, lumulusot na paunti-unti yung paunti-unti. The EUD card, it's a go. Uh, USD card, wala pa. AD USD, which is currently nag-retrade tayo ngayon, it's another go. So, itong CHFJPY, uh, wala pa pero nagkaroon ng higher high. So, I'm gonna expect mag meron na naman ng bagong rejection and bagong form ng retest. So, waiting na naman ako nito. So, yan lang po, uh, just an update no? uh, of the trades of the our strategy, don't you worry, uh, intact pa rin yung strategy natin at uh, ma kapag ma ang tawag ito, we still trust on our strategy in our system. Maraming salamat po.